What's up guys, this is going to be my first impressions of the Crowfall Pre-Alpha. This was the very first game I had ever played. You see me messing around with my combos, just trying to figure stuff out. And the crazy thing is, is I won my very first game. And a little, little bit of luck obviously, but I, just, I thought it was pretty cool that I happened to win my very first game. And I'm messing around with the Look at that combo, that's a sweet combo. Man, here's a good introduction to the Crowfall Pre-Alpha. The servers are, were a bit wonky during this playtest, and I go to grip this confessor, and it just doesn't go off. And then it finally goes off, and I grip the knight backwards, and then this knight is going to slide over to me and stun me with a two-hit combo, even though he didn't do the first part on my screen. Yeah, yeah. welcome to the pre-alpha, gentlemen. I thought that was pretty funny, so I figured I'd include it. The servers do start working again a few seconds later, and then I'm back to work going on this confessor and you might be thinking wow this movement is really weird your character seems to be moving all over the place and that is because the movement in the game right now is completely server side so if you've got a hundred milliseconds of, of ping and you hit the w key it takes a hundred milliseconds for that movement action to occur on your screen now typically in mmos the movement is done client side with like a few server side checks just to make sure speed hacking doesn't happen i would expect that is going to happen at some point in Crowfall, they just haven't done that yet. So uh, I think it's almost been confirmed that that's going to be a thing. It would make the most sense because the movement isn't very responsive right now. And that's that's kind of a big deal. So I live here and I go to the campfire in the back and heal up. And look at this keep, man. This keep is awesome. This fully textured is going to be badass. I'm sure this is something in the campaigns that you won't see too many of. Because I'm sure this is going to take a lot of resources to build something like this. But... This kind of gives you an idea of the scale of Crowfall, and I see somebody dies right here. When somebody dies, it's like the Hunger Games, like in the movie, where their their portrait is put uh, put up in the sky, and there's a beam. It's it's pretty crazy, and I, I find this guy at low health and lagging around trying to hit his ass, and I finally do get him here. I think I grip him, or I think I just hit him with something. I know I kill him here, or maybe my... I think I get the killing blow. I'm not sure. But anyway, this was my very first game, and I happened to win it. Me... Devastate Virtue and Cinnabar 1. Pretty awesome to win my very first game. There's a few people live streaming. They're like, oh my god, Zyvek won his first game. Like, that's, that's cool. Here's an example of character collision and mass. You see how I'm pushing this friendly confessor around? This is for both friendly and enemy players. And that knight runs into me and pushes me around. Uh, so the characters actually have weight and you can't run through enemy players so that's going to open up a whole new dynamic for like strategy and and cornering people my first few games i played i remember one game i got cornered by a knight and a legionnaire they were literally just pushing me into the corner and i couldn't move and they just completely destroyed me and here's another example of physics airwolf who's another streamer he grips me and intentionally like moves out of the, he does it in a way to where he's not gripping me to him he's gripping me off the edge and uh, you'll see it here in a second like i miss Miss aim this grip here this on this confessor and he's gonna kind of shoot past me a little bit so if you don't aim it right you're you're not gonna pull him directly to you so you see how I you saw I kind of pull him past me Th that's very cool it's gonna lead to some some crazy stuff when people actually get really good at this it's gonna be very interesting to see what people do so I like that there's a lot of real physics I like that you can't move through players I think that's very different I can't think of another MMO that's really done that um, and a lot of the physics aren't even in the game yet, like the destruction, which is one of the, the big parts of this game where you can actually like shoot fireballs at a wall and do damage to the wall. Um, so that's going to be cool. Uh, here, here comes Elvine with the OP crazy pre-nerf fire AoE. This, that shit was, they already nerfed that, by the way, if you're concerned. But I'm actually going to use my character's mass to push this guy into the fire. So... I hit him with my shield stun combo, and then I'm slowly just going to attack him and push him into that fire, and the fire does a ton of damage. And you can go back and rewind that and see the crazy health deficit I had at the start of that fight. But I was able to use my character's mass, the fact that I'm heavier than him and I've got heavier gear, and just kind of push him where I want to. So that is, is super cool. Here I am a little later in the game, and I've got much more confidence with the controls. I'm going to run in on this confessor here and do the wombo combo of death. So I'm going to hit him with my forward piece onslaught combo. So I stun him right here and then I charge up a shield slam. And shield slam is one of those abilities you have to charge for like two or three seconds. But it hits really hard. And that is where I like the animation locking in this game. That felt really rewarding to set that up and, and do that. And, and just knowing that that confessor was sitting there like, oh my god, here comes the pain. I just thought that was very cool. 
And uh, this is my demise here. This was the second game I, I had played. And I ended up coming in second place. So pretty good. Um, the combat, I really like the combat. I like the combo system. I like the mass. The only thing I don't like is the animation speed. I would like to see the animation sped up. I have no problem with the animation locking. I don't mind that. But I would like to see the lock time shorter and the just the overall animations faster for every single class. I'd like the combos to be one, two, three, four, rather than one, two, three, four. I would like to see the speed more like Terra. Like Terra has these like really fast combos and it just feels more action based. Uh, this game, it, I just think it's a little too slow for the animations, but I, other than the animation time, I don't see any like red flags. And even if the animations did stay like this, it does feel a lot better to play than it does to look at. When I first was looking at this game, I was like, whoa, that's really slow. But when you play it, it's not that bad, but it definitely needs to be faster. And a lot of people agree with me. I think this is a very popular sentiment is that everything should be faster, I think. The projectiles should be faster. The animations should be faster. I think the run speed is fine. Um, but I would just like to see the sword combos be like, wish, 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 rather than just like, they're almost uncomfortably slow. Like, these guys are immortal champions of the gods, and I feel like I could swing a sword faster than some of these some of these people. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. I feel like that's something that can be pretty easily changed. I'm sure it will be tweaked a lot. This game is very far away from release. So, uh, you know, it's it confirmed it's not coming out for over a year at the very bare minimum. So we've got plenty of time here for them to adjust stuff. And overall... The combat is very fun, considering they've only been working on it for 16 weeks. So, uh, very cool. One of the big things I like about the combat in this game is that it's so different that I'm not good at it at all. And I'm not just going to instantly pick it up and after a few weeks just completely dominate the game. Because I started playing WoW when I was 12 years old. Once I learned that combat system, all the games I've played after it, Star Wars The Old Republic, Wildstar... Um, Guild Wars 2, whatever. They've all been very, very similar. If they had differences, I normally figured them out in the first few weeks, and then I was good to go. Most recent example was Wildstar. Was there brand new stuff to learn? Absolutely. But for the most part, got the game figured out very quickly. This does this, this does that, whatever, and shit on the game. That's essentially what happened. With this, this is a this is going to be the... Look at this shield slam. Boom! I love that. Anyway, this is going to be... The wild, wild west of experimentation and theory crafting, and I really like that. The the way that the character builds are going to work in this game, like this is a bug right there, that, that's a bug. But the way the character builds and all that stuff is looking like it's going to pan out, this game, you're, you're just not going to be able to learn it all. And that is very appealing to me because MMOs for me in the past, I, I just, I've gotten very good at figuring them out. And anybody that's been watching my YouTube channel knows, like, Oh, yeah, Zyback, he plays the MMO, and he's good at it. Like, this, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, just snap into it and be good at it like I have with other games that played very similar to WoW. This is very much its own thing. I feel like I'm a decent player, and I've got a, the good mi a good mindset for figuring stuff out like this, but I'm absolutely not intuitively good at it like other MMOs, and I like that. I really like that. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. Quick tip right here, I haven't seen any other knights doing this where they use their number one ability to traverse through the air. It gives you a lot of forward momentum and it's great for going across the keep like that. So, pro tip right there, I haven't seen any other knights doing that. I've seen some confessors doing it, but no knights. So, anyway, definitely take advantage of that. It's very good.